flip over. Flip over? <laughs> what are you talking about? Wow, this is just freaky, freaky weird. So what just happened? I am sickened. We lost our drone today in the lake. I think I've put this prop on five times. Hey, at least you figured it out. Ready? I'm like a swamp thing. <laughs> Ah, mixed emotions. It's like if our life was a, a VHS, I feel like we, we went in and we hit pause. And we're gonna go back to the boat and we're gonna hit play again, and yet it's not gonna be the same movie. Around here, it's like we've just we've been on like a parallel track. And uh, it's like we're gonna reunite with our real selves. Mm -hmm when we get back over there. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> what happened? We lost our drone today in the lake. <sighs> yeah, it couldn't have been more calm and serene out there. And yet, uh, accidentally flew this into a tree. I don't know why the vision sensors didn't stop it. Usually they're chirping away, but not this time. Well, she lasted a whole two months. But you're gonna fix her, right? We'll see. I'm try and dry it out in the oven. Dry it out with some rice. Fire it up. I may have to go buy another one. It's expensive. Um, you guys are always saying how, you know, we keep it real and all that, and we really try. We're shopping, so I'm absolutely exhausted. It's <laughs> been like 20 minutes already, so. Please call me doctor. <laughs> yeah, you look like you're going into surgery. Going in for surgery. <laughs> We're gonna be, uh, what are you operating we're on? We're gonna do a brain transplant <laughs> today. We're hoping that we can replace some really crappy personality with some good personality. The thing I love most about myself is how much joy I get from nature. From the leaves falling. That's all I want is nature. You're gonna need a hairnet though, I'm afraid, <laughs> for our brain, our brain transplant. I haven't washed this hair in five days. Megan'shair.com. <laughs> Don't. We really try. And it occurred to us that there's actually a really big part of the puzzle that allows us to do this, do this at a young age. And that is that we have got a, a large <laughs> and extremely supportive family standing yes. behind us. Yes, and they welcome us with open arms and places to stay anytime that we come back. Things have been a little bit more complicated, of course, given the the pandemic and all of us wanting to take steps to keep each other safe and all that but we have we have made it work mm -hmm. but uh, we we stand on the shoulders of giants I, yes, I think we do. yeah somebody came up with that saying and that's very very true here big thanks to my sister and brother-in-law staying at their place at the beach now we're up at the mountain house at my sister's i believe this is our first yurt experience i was impressed <laughs> That's cute, as long as you got the heater going and can make your coffee right out of bed. Yeah, and my mom on the lake and- Borrowing cars. Your and... other sister in Hood River. Yeah, we yeah. just, they live in some beautiful places. <laughs> yeah, so when folks ask us, you know, how we do this, that's that's a big part of the equation. Yeah, because yeah. a lot of people say, hey, did you do you have a home, you know, that you go back to? It's like, no, we have other people's <laughs> homes. We couch surf. You, you know that saying, the best boat is somebody else's? Well, we feel that way about houses. <laughs> that's true. So anyways, this summer comes to a close. I guess summer is officially gone anyway, yeah. but we're flying back to the boat here pretty quick. and. 
bittersweet saying goodbye to all the friends and family again. It really is. But having that contrast of all the good things on land to go back to Clarity makes us you know, appreciate all the things that Clarity has that we don't have right so now. So true. How do you feel about tacos, Mom? I love tacos. I love you. I love you. I can't believe this thing came to life. I think it's a little small. Um, I think it's for me. I think it's for you. Which is okay because I don't think there's anything more weird and narcissistic than a t-shirt with your own face on it. It's kind of like a big portrait of yourself over the mantle. Look at me! Okay, it's your... Alright, first of all, my face is a little distorted. <laughs> Can you, can you strike a pose? <laughs> <laughs> you were looking out into the distance at a boat that was about to run into us at anchor. And it was pitch black. And you captured the moment. I did, and there was the glow from West Palm behind you. And you had the, the glow from the cockpit lights, the helm. And I just thought, oh my God, this is a great shot. And here we are. So everybody, send in your pictures, wearing your t-shirt. Hopefully you ordered a bigger size than large. This is my slip-ins. Wow. I mean, is it shiny? Just hugs in everything that you want hugged. Okay, let's hug it. Hug it. Let's see you. Ready? I'm like a swamp thing. <laughs> Whoa. Woo! This is it. Final trip to Crescent Beach, our favorite beach. We bought the tickets today. Two weeks from Monday, we'll be back on Clarity. Whew, well, we have Clarity, that's the big question. I'm getting it. I'm getting little, little glimpses. A lot of things that are a little unclear for us. This coming season, not much has opened up. There's hints here and there that things are gonna open up, but we don't know. And uh, as soon as we get the boat put, put back together again, we'll be game to head on out. And I gotta tell you, it's been nice being back, getting a diverse diversity of experiences. Yeah. But I miss being, I miss being on our own. in there for I think we figured four and a half months and enough protein powder for probably six months so I feel like if all is lost we're stuck somewhere <laughs> we are gonna be just fine on protein powder coconut oil and coffee that and my box of nuts here which I hauled from Portland Oregon from Trader Joe's Okay, back to stocking the cupboards. Well, we're doing the annual maintenance on the engines and the sail drives. We also do the lower sail drive seals preventatively. Yanmar says you can get 500 hours out of them. We're at about 380 hours, but since we're hauled out, let's just go ahead and pop those seals out. Uh, a little more complicated than that, but pop those seals out, replace them with new, and the oil it was absolutely pristine, so we've got no water leaking into the drive. Will this be the last time I do this? I've only done it. I think I've put this prop on five times now, maybe six. <laughs> Why is that? It hasn't been fitting together, or okay. Really? Is it yeah. fitting now? Huh? Does it fit now? We'll see. I noticed the alternator is putting out a little bit less than it should, so we're gonna go ahead and swap that out for a new one. 
doing a little outboard maintenance for the dinghy. We are cleaning the carb and also replacing the spark plugs and she's running a lot better now. They say it is death by a million paper cuts and that's how it is on Clarity. A lot of little details, these little gas lift shocks seem to go out way too frequently. They're about 150 bucks a piece. So we just replace them as needed. And uh, otherwise, just a lot of little details to get this baby ready to rock and roll. Well, this is the pre-filter for our water maker. This just isn't gonna cut it. This will. Oh, and you're putting a bracket on so it'll be easier to take off. I think this one's gonna be great. Great. Frosted Flakes endorsed. So what just happened? I am sickened about what just happened. I thought today, hey, let me do what Nick normally does and download all the footage, update the drives and get going on this week's video. So I'm downloading all the files, I think, duping it to the other drive and then erasing all the cards. I didn't download it all. With these new cameras, this new camera, there's another folder I had to go into and I didn't. And so we lost so much footage of all the boat preps this week, of these gifts that we got from some patrons and who knows what else. I'm just uh, really, really disappointed. And it's one of those lessons you learn one time, never do it again. I think punishment's in order. What are you going to do? I mean, I didn't punish you when you lost the drone. Which is worse, this footage or the drone? How much was that footage worth? Because the drone was worth nothing. the drone was worth 1600 bucks. And just for the record, I did not destroy the drone. <laughs> the tree destroyed the drone. I thought that these drones were tree proof. I thought <laughs> Most of the time, it comes in... So you were testing it. I guess. I mean, come within like 10 feet of anything. And it's like... Beep, 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 Nothing. The only thing I heard was... And then I looked over my shoulder just to watch it tumble through the tree and into Lake House we go. So I guess this is just the reality, the behind the scenes of what it's really like to be YouTube stars. <laughs> Can we call ourselves that? YouTube idiots? YouTube idiots. You oh YouTube my idiots? god. YouTube idiots? I mean, the before and afters of some of this boat stuff, luckily we were shooting with four other cameras, so there is some record, but we definitely missed some great new cinematic shots from Nico Kelly. All right, I got a lot of laundry to do, but the place is open, clean, and lots of room. So I'll get this done quick. All right, we got a little traffic jam on the way to getting some propane in Matthews. Hopefully I'll get it at the Home and Garden Center and hit the grocery store again, and then we'll be one step closer.
Here we go, going into the water and officially beginning season five on Clarity. So excited. I want to figure out why they call it bending on a sail. You bend on a sail. Does anybody out there know? So we're bending on our jib. These are the conditions you want to put it up in. No wind at all. Ooh, it's bright out here. <laughs> nice to see the sun though, isn't it? Yeah, so nice. Still working on the boat, still uh, getting ready to go in the next few days. Can't wait to get on the road, I mean on the water. <laughs> Just looking for our weather window and then we are untying these lines. People keep asking us what our plan is. Plan? Nick, like, what's a plan? I don't know. <laughs> our plan is to head south and try and stay with the warm weather. We are not interested in freezing our tails off. And stay out of trouble. <laughs> yeah, right. So we're gonna point our bows south here coming up and you'll see a lot more sailing and boating related yes. content coming up here. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and liking and comments and special thanks to the patrons. Yeah, you guys are fantastic. We've had some issues getting our camera gear that we ordered back in August shipped to us. We've got one camera, but we're gonna be waiting another three weeks or so to get the other one. And we'll need a little extra time to learn how to use them and download the files, that sort of thing. Hopefully you can <laughs> tell that this one is much better though. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next week. Take care. Bye.